showers and storms develop late on Wednesday. Some could be strong to isolated severe. Good Tuesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldridge, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. We well, you can see from the ultimate Doppler radar presented by A1 Fincham Heating and Cooling. There's not a whole lot to see here. A little bit of ground clutter, but I will mention A1 Fincham Heating and Cooling is awesome because they're focused on customer satisfaction. They won't quit until you're happy. You want to check them out at A1Fincham.com. By the way, there's some rain up toward Indiana, but nothing within striking distance tonight. Still some wet weather across parts of southeast Georgia and just off the coast to Florida, but nothing tropical there expected. Headlines, we had a warm day today, so we can check that box. We got rain chances tomorrow and Thursday. We can check that box, and then it'll be dry this weekend in time for the Vols to take on South Carolina on Saturday evening at Neyland Stadium. Our high temperature today hit 87 degrees. I was expecting 86, but to be fair, I said multiple times this morning, it wouldn't surprise me if we hit 87. Well, we hit 87 in Knoxville. We hit 87 in, in Oak Ridge, but not everybody got to 87. To keep in mind, normal high is 79 this time of year. It was only 82, Morristown, Newport. Only 82 in Lafawa and 84 Crossville. They did hit 87 in Maryville, Alcoa earlier today. So a warm day for sure. Still feels like it's summer. And with the heat, look at that. 91 today in Nashville and Jackson. Yeah, a summer is still holding on to the west. 93 in Huntsville, 92 in Memphis. Uh, we're going to cool things down a wee bit uh, over the next couple of days. But really, 80s are going to hold on. It's just uh, relative to the 90s out west, we won't be that hot. Tracking some clouds, we have a few of those, maybe partly cloudy in some spots overnight, if not mostly cloudy when some fog returns. But there are, have been a few showers you can see just west of Asheville, uh, maybe around near Bryson City, a couple of sprinkles that formed today. Not a big deal. National Hurricane Center still focused on a new storm that could get the name Rena. That's R I N A. And that's the storm that may form in the next uh, seven days or less. But there's nothing really tropical of concern off the coast of Florida, despite the rainy, unsettled weather there. Meanwhile, the storm that has formed is Philippe, and he's pretty much going to be fading away over time. So Rena, Sean, and Tammy, the next three names on the list. Storm Prediction Center as we've got scattered severe storms in yellow, but the isolated is the dark green. Where is that located? It's parts of East Tennessee. It's central Kentucky, a lot of the Commonwealth, including Lexington, Bowling Green. But if you look back toward Nashville, Cookville, La Follette, we're all fair game for some strong, if not isolated, severe storms on Wednesday. That's not to say we couldn't have some downpours in Newport. We could. That's not to say we couldn't have some downpours in Maryville. We could. But areas around Crossville, Wartburg, Jamestown may be more uh, more prone to pick up some uh, stronger storms tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on that. Thursday, pretty much isolated storms possible, but nothing severe as there's no dark green areas here, but we'll have the potential for some thunder on Thursday. Here's the future cast. I thought you'd appreciate taking a closer view. By tonight, you notice how the clouds stream back in. That's why I said partly to mostly. Uh, it may not be that cloudy now, but it ebbs and flows. Tomorrow morning, a touch of fog, which we'll look at. But by the time we hit midday, you might be tapping your foot. I said, I thought it was supposed to rain. That weatherman said it was going to rain on Wednesday. Well, 60% chance. So you want to see, you want to see a 60% chance. What does that look like in the afternoon? Well, here it goes. There's 12, uh, 12, 130. Some strong area storms there in red. Jamestown. Oh, 230. It's now moving into Scott County. Maybe some stronger storms around, say, Bell County near Middlesboro and up towards, say, Barberville. Maybe even back south toward Wartburg. So there's going to be some downpours, maybe around Sevierville. Uh, but the stronger storms in red, maybe to the north and west of Knox County. Here's 5 o'clock. The drive home, I mean, this is not going to cure our dry factor because the dry issue that we have likely will get worse before it gets better. Sure, we got some rain tomorrow and Thursday, but it's not going to cure all that ails us. We might get maybe a quarter inch, maybe a half inch uh, north and west. Uh, just depends on where these storms set up. But that's 5 o'clock. That's the drive home tomorrow. So give yourself some extra time if you are in the path of these storms. Again, 530, uh, take you to 6. Morristown looks like they're getting a, a fair share, share of storms by 6 o'clock based on this modeling and based on this timing. Again, this is just one possible solution for placement and timing, but it does help make for good planning uh, purposes. So of 11 o'clock tomorrow night, it's quiet again, but then there's a, only a 40% chance of rain on Thursday because it looks like it has a hard time getting in here. Uh, dr it dries up. So it tries to approach Oak Ridge, there's 12 noon, and then it just kind of peters out, so to speak. So there's not much to see beyond that. But temperatures tomorrow, about 83. Temperatures Thursday, about 82. What about the fog tomorrow morning? 
Doesn't look all that bad. 615, 7, 715, it's very patchy. Uh, probably won't be as noticeable tomorrow morning like it's been in the previous mornings, given the fact we'll have probably more clouds to prevent that from necessarily taking hold. Our normal low now is 57. We'll be in the low 60s tonight. Here's your Valley Planner for the next 12 hours, about 62 by early tomorrow morning, 6, 7 a.m., with a normal low about 57 this time of year. Tonight, 62, partly to mostly, patches of fog late, winds will be 0 to 5. I got 60 for Wartburg, Crossville, 59 for Oneida, and 61. Morristown for your low temperature tomorrow and a high temperature tomorrow in the low 80s. As a general rule, it may very well be much warmer from Athens, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, about 83 and Newport. But compare and contrast Oneida and Crossville, Jamestown, about 78 for a high temperature in the plateau tomorrow. Looking ahead to the Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee, 82 on Thursday. Showers and storms, so we've got a 60 to 40 percent chance, maybe just maybe a spot of rain on Friday as this system finally gets out of here. But here I thought would be helpful is to post the kickoff temperature. Even though I expect a warm day for tailgaters building up to 85 by the end of the afternoon, it's a 730 game, as you all know. Kickoff temperature I expect to be around 75. So we'll be in the mid 70s, very comfortable, mostly clear. It's going to look really sweet, but we're still in the mid 80s heading into the last few days of September. Fact. September and Saturday, and of course, October 1st is Sunday. So a couple of days of October, still unusually warm for this time of year. Well, by the way, make sure you pick up the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic, the best in the business for traffic in Knoxville, and has been doing it for quite some time. Keep you and your family safe. Just search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play, and you'll get all the weather alerts from the National Weather Service, plus three extras, plus lightning alerts. It's awesome. And make sure you download it today, unless you get my forecast very quick and convenient on the app. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather does not surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.